See, I got like 20 contacts, you know, I don't. All right, similar figures. What makes two figures similar? What is the formal geometric definition of two similar figures? Similar figures, basically, like Stephen said, they look pretty much the same. Same shape, same overall shape, same overall design, just two different sizes, one big, one small. Same shape, different sizes. More formally, two different figures are similar if one shape can be mapped or turned into the other using a series of what are called rigid transformations and dilations. Who wants to write this down? So I put it up on the board. Shoot. You're going to need this information to work through the practice on Khan Academy. So I want to give you this first. And we take a look at some other stuff on our computer. Two figures are similar if one can be turned into the other using a sequence of rigid transformations and dilations. Here's an example of two similar triangles. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. The notation for similar figures is this little kind of squiggle in the middle. Almost looks something like a tilde from Spanish, I think. I like that. And that is the symbol for similarity two shapes. Now, when you the vertices, you list the A, B, C, and the X, Y, Z. The order is important. This similarity statement tells me that A matches with X. Side A, B matches with side X, Y. The first two letters in this statement should correspond to the first two letters of the second triangle. A matches with X, Y, and Z. All right, so two figures are similar if I can use a sequence of rigid and that one, what are transformations? are a set of three rigid transformations in geometry. The first one is reflection. If you can flip it, you can flip something across a line, flip it around, rotate it, I can turn it about a point. I can rotate it some number of degrees about a given point. Lastly is translations. Translation just moves it some direction, up, down, left or right. For all three of these rigid transformations, I'm not changing the size. They, pres they preserve distance between points. I'm not changing the overall size of the figure. That happens when I use what's called a dilation. In a dilation, I, I Scale, enlarge it, or I shrink it. Are they the same size? No. No, so one is bigger or smaller than the other, right? Mm -hmm. If this side is equal to three, and this side is equal to six, how much bigger is the second triangle than the first? Well, three, but like, I don't think that's just gonna be it. Three to six. What did I multiply by? Times two. Times two. Okay, so if I do side AC here, I call that four. That means that side XZ has to be how big? Eight. Eight. I make it bigger by using some scalar, some multiplier, so that each side length is some value bigger than the other. I double my check if you want to think. Let's see, if this side is 5, then that means that this side has to be... They've been dilated by a factor of 2, where each side length in the larger triangle is twice as big as the corresponding side length in the smaller triangle. That's what dilation means. You change 
You multiply all sides by some scale. What is a non-rigid transformation? These are the ones that do not produce gears, not a part of the ones that we're allowed to use to turn one shape into the next. And be similar. A non-rigid transformation is a vertical or horizontal stretch or shrink. That's where I only change some of the sides. I make all the sides bigger vertically, or I make the sides bigger horizontally. I don't do them both together. I only change them by pulling out vertically or pulling about horizontally. All right, so let's kind of see what we're talking about here. Up on the television. Share this. First, let's kind of see this. Using a sequence of rigid transformations and dilations. Take a wild guess. Are these two triangles in red and green similar? Are they the same shape but different sizes? Yes. I think so too, right? So using the sliders below, there's going to be, as well as a dilation, that turns one into the other. So let's start using this slider here. So first thing I'm going to So I move all the corresponding vertices from here to here, from here to here, here to here, and so on. Now what do I do next? You rotate it. I rotate it. I gotta change the orientation. Isn't that pink triangle kind of pointing a little bit further down than the green triangle? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start rotating it. Have I changed the overall relations? Preserve distance between points. I'm not making the shape any bigger or smaller, any vertical or horizontal direction. Now I'm going to dilate it. I'm going to turn the red triangle into the same size as the green triangle by scaling all, all, all the sides down. Are these two shapes now exactly the same? Yeah. yeah, I've turned by using a sequence of rigid transformations, dilations. Does that make sense? So let's try this. We've seen an example of where I can produce similar figures. Let's try one where they're not similar. There is no sequence of transformations and dilations that change one into the other. I slide right here. And it be used my head to transform one to the next, or write it out and try and use a sequence of transformations and dilations to map one onto the other. Are these two different rectangles pointing the same direction? No. Are they oriented the same? So I have to either use a rotation or a reflection to reposition them so that they're either both running horizontally or actually both running vertically. Let's, well, let's take this point and just move it 
down. So now the triangle or the rectangle looks something like this. Okay. We've got it rotated. Now let's try translating. I'm going to move this blue rectangle onto. So now it would look something kind of like this. this time. Now it would look something like this. Are those sizing? No. So I would have to make them either bigger or smaller using a dilation. Let's try and change this red triangle by dilating it and making it bigger. I'm going to try and double this red side to make it the same length as the black side. Well, if I make it bigger, That. I'm using a dilation. I agree with you. I'm sorry. I was just going to say not doing Not doing this. This looks like it's been stretched vertically almost. I took the red triangle, the red rectangle, and I made it bigger vertically without also changing the same direction horizontally. So no. Oh, okay. Two rectangles. The two rectangles are not similar. One has been stretched in a specific direction. It's been stretched vertically. So uh, when you had like when you went out uh, to the side two and came down. So if I go this side length, but I I try to double it here to go this direction vertically. Mm -hmm. Don't I have to highlight it by also going in the same proportion horizontal? Okay, and then couldn't like when you had like the extra box or like when it was a bigger box, couldn't you just take like the black rectangle that was already there? Could you just like? Well, no, I guess that wouldn't work. You'd have to add another one. I made it bigger in only one direction. Okay. I didn't change it proportionally, also dilating it horizontally as well. I was just thinking that, that would maybe be could add another one. a non rigid transformation because I changed the distance between some of the points, not all of them. I can only use rigid transformations where I don't change the size of the thing. And the dilation where I change it proportionally, all the uh, side lengths of the, of the chain. Why don't you grab your laptops?